Absolutely. We got a question that came in via text from our friend Everlyn, and they ask, please explain this verse, that when the bridegroom came, he founded all the ten virgins sleeping. Does it mean there's a time when the whole church will be asleep? Pastor Jacobson, here's an interesting question from one of our friends here asking about this parable. Is this sleeping something that we can take literal and think that, does this mean that the whole church will be asleep? Okay, so I would say no. And let me read the story first. So this is found in Matthew 25, or this parable starts out by saying, Then the kingdom of heaven shall be likened to ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Now five of them were wise and five were foolish. Those who were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. But while the bridegroom was delayed, they all slumbered and slept. And then the story continues where it says that at midnight, there is this cry that is heard that the bridegroom is coming. And then the virgins all wake up, it says, and now five of them realize, oh, no, we don't have the oil. And so they ask the others to give them this oil. And the other ones say, well, if we give it to you, then we won't have anything. And so the other ones are sent off and they go away. And meanwhile, the bridegroom shows up. They come in and the doors are shut. And then in verse 11, it says, Afterward, the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered and said, Assuredly, I say to you, I do not know you. Hmm. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour in which the Son of Man is coming. So we have to look at the hermeneutical principles of how to interpret parables. There have been people in the past who have said, you know, Parables are like allegories where we just take every part and we assign a symbol to each one. But that is not Mm -hmm. what Jesus is doing when he interprets the parables for us and when he tells us what they mean when he is explaining some of them to the disciples. He always says there is a main point to them. And the main point to this one is watch therefore because you do not know when jesus is coming so you need to be ready for when jesus is coming and it's talking about this this oil that the five have in their vessels and in other passages in the bible we know that the oil represents the holy spirit and so this is Mm. the virgin having the holy spirit in their lives and the holy spirit is so important because when we respond to the holy spirit we are saying yes to god and yes. then God can work in our lives and the Holy Spirit tra- is, is transforming us. And that's when we're ready because we become we build a strong relationship with Jesus. And that's hmm. why in the end where he says, well, I do not know you. Well, a person cannot know you if you haven't spent time with them, if you haven't really yeah. become friends with them. Right. And so then you would say, OK, I don't know. You. And so when Jesus is saying this, because they didn't take the time to really build that relationship with him. And so this parable, I mean, I love the question on this because it's so important. It's such an important Mm -hmm. parable for our lives because we each need to pay attention to where our relationship with Jesus is. And especially even Mm -hmm. during this time, COVID, you know, it's so easy to get sidetracked with everything else because there are so many pressures that are coming. But most importantly, Jesus says, watch. Because what's most important in your life is me and that relationship with me. Wow, that's so powerful. That relationship with Christ and how this parable points to that. And I can I truly appreciate you pointing out the hermeneutical principles. And Dr. Hannah, how can we help someone then who is a lay person and when they read the scriptures and they read parables and they're trying to understand, you know, what can I take literal uh, and, and, and what can I take as, as symbolism? How do we help these people? Yes, I appreciate very much Pastor Andrea's point, which is that all the symbols, all the parts of the parable need to be subordinated to the main point of the parable. Mm -hmm. And so we shouldn't make the mistake of thinking that because the virgins fell asleep, then the whole church is going to be spiritually dead. That's not the point of the parable at all. The, The sleeping is subordinate to the main point, which is we must always be ready for the coming of Jesus at a time that we cannot predict. You know, it's just like when you're sleeping, uh, you don't know exactly what's happening around you, but God knows and he's in control. And so the the real Christian is not the one who knows exactly when Jesus is gonna come. There's so many people trying to predict exactly when Jesus is gonna come, but the true Christian is the one who is ready for Jesus to come every day. So if he comes today, we need to be ready. If he comes tomorrow, we need to be ready. Mm -hmm. Next year, same thing. 
watch and be ready always. That's the main point of the parable. Mm -hmm.